we've come to the beautiful university city town of Coimbra in central Portugal. We're going to spend a few days here looking around at this fantastic city. Look at the university over there on the hill. This is a municipal market here in Coimbra. Not a lot going on at the top here, but plenty of produce down below. This is the very attractive Plaza Oito de Mayo, the 8th of May Square. And then you've got the town hall there, the Camara Municipal de Coimbra, and the beautiful Santa Cruz Monastery. and then the beginning of a main pedestrian street which runs through the centre of town the Baixo, Low District I love this warren of little cobbled alleyways that runs through the Low Town, beautiful These little plazas, incredible. What do you think, Mandy? It's just so beautiful. I really love it. Not much use for cars around here on these streets. This is the Santiago church built at the end of the 12th century, sitting in the corner of the Praça del Comercio. Popular Plaza. St. Bartholomew's dates back to the 12th century, this one. History everywhere. I love cities that are on rivers, they're just so nice. We're on the River Mondego here, and we are right down in the bottom of the old town, near the Ponte de Santa Clara, which is just behind me. This part is the old town, the cobbled streets which kind of climb up the hill. The university is on the top, you've got the botanical garden down here and this is the main part of the city. Easy to walk around if you don't mind lots of steps. <laughs> this is the bridge and this is the Lago de Portagem uh, square I think, which is yep. very pretty. Lovely old bank over there, statue. Beautiful buildings and tourist information there. So walking down the main street, it's always important to know where the local toilets are, that's what I think anyway. And we happened to stumble across these ones earlier. Come down, we come down. And here they are, sanitarios. There's someone there, I'm not too sure how much it costs, I'll find out, but if you want to know where the loos are in the middle of town, they're here.
This is the Al Medina Arch. This was the fortified gateway into the old town. Wow. <laughs> so impressive. like you're stepping back in time and uh, roadworks <laughs> <laughs> lots of vans <laughs> yeah construction <laughs> now I'll come up to the Sevilla the 12th century romanesque old cathedral on top of the hill this place is magnificent let's have a little closer look Hard to catch you in the bright sunlight, but there's so many beautiful decorations around the porticos, doorways. To me, it looks more like a fortress than a cathedral, but I think it was built that way for a reason, to protect the hill. Seriously, don't know why anyone would want to drive around here. We found a lovely lunch menu at Cafe Restaurant, Ose Nova. Seven euros, we're getting a soup. We've got vegetable soup. It's very nice. Yeah, very nice. We get a 375 um, milliliter bottle of wine each. Yeah. We've gone for yeah. white. Lee's gone for the red. It looks very nice. Hang on. Oh, lovely and fresh and tasty. Excellent. And for the main, we've both gone for pork. Excellent, yeah, and Osa Nova is the new cathedral. It's just underneath the new cathedral. Perfect. The main course is come, the lombo, which is roast pork, and it comes with chips, salad, and rice. Mmm, there's a lovely gravy sauce as well. Very good value meal for seven euros. Excellent. Felicia's salad. He actually means no. lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the new cathedral, which was built at the end of the 1500s, so relatively new, I suppose. The Porta Feria, designed in 1597, I believe, and the main entrance to the former palace that was became the university. So here we are, the university. Beautiful. Unbelievably bright because it's middle of the day and it's very really sunny. Very much so. This is the Patio das Oscalas in the center of Coimbra University. And this is what surrounds me. This is the Porta Feria, and in front of me, the Palacio Real, the main palace that was once the palace of the kings before the university was founded. There's the clock tower, which you can climb for one euro. That was 17th or 18th century. Then the Capello, the San Miguel, the chapel of St. Michael, and around here, the Biblioteca Jaunina, the Jaunina Library. This is Jao III who re-established the university in 1537. So where there's universities, there's always political debate and social revolution. And below the university, in all these little alleyways, is the student houses. They are called republicas, and you'll see them 
there's things hanging out the windows, there's slogans all over the wall, anti-fascist, um, anarchy, that kind of thing. Very interesting to see. We'll have a wander through and show some of these places. Bread, housing, health, education. Solidarity brothers. Welcome to Coimbra, the home to Portugal's oldest university and one of the oldest universities in the world. Over 500 years of history and heritage here. Yeah, and it's a lovely place to come for some nice, peaceful, tranquil <laughs> education. Because, yep. Like so many places. There's some scaffolding going on <laughs> and behind us there's a drill going. It's wonderful and for about an hour now we've been trying to shoot this and it's just not working so we thought we'd show you the fantastic building work going on right here. Because remember it's reality not glamour. All the time. Uh -huh. 